listen eight point nine. Hi, boys and girls. Elmo here with another exciting math lesson. Today's lesson is lesson. What's it say? Eight point nine. It's way up there at the top of the page. And today's topic is display measurement data. That sounds exciting. Let's take a look at today's essential question. Our essential question is, oh, look at it come down. How can a line plot be used to show measurement data? That sounds exciting. But before we do that, let's practice measuring. Everybody get out a ruler. Elmo's got his ruler. It's a red ruler. Do you have a red ruler? Everything is red with Elmo's world. Red Elmo, red ruler, red background. Okay, get your ruler and line it up against the... Hey, wait a minute. That ruler's not red. Elmo said get a red ruler. Somebody get my agent on the phone. I specifically said red ruler. Elmo is a big star. And when Elmo wants, Elmo gets. Anyway, line up your ruler. Did you measure five inches? Elmo did. Now let's do the second one. Line up carefully. Did you get two inches? Elmo did. Now let's do the third one. Did you get three inches? Hey, Elmo is three. Three years old, that is, not three inches. <laughs> okay, now let's take a look at the math talk. What's it say down there? It says, describe how the length of the three str strings are different. Really? That's the question? It's obvious! They're different lengths. Some are short and some are long. Who writes these questions? Anyway, let's turn to the next page. Okay, boys and girls, now you have turned to page 590. Let's take a look at the top light purple area at the top of the paper. Right there. I kissed it. I'm going to kiss the paper. It says a line plot is a way to show data. On this line plot, each X stands for the length of one pencil in inches. Hmm. And the green bubble says how many pencils are just six inches long. And how many different pencils are shown in this data? Well, looking at the line plot, it goes from numbers 5 through 11. And there's one X over at the 5. That means one pencil was 5 inches long. There's no X's over the 9. So that means there was no pencils that were 9 inches long. And there's three X's over the 7. Almost three. That means there were three pencils that were seven inches long. So when it says how many pencils are just six inches long, it would be two, because there's two X's over the six. And then how many pencils are shown on this data? Or in the data, we have to count all the X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine pencils that were in the data. Okay, now let's take a look at number one. We have to use an inch ruler, measure the, and record the length of five books in inches. Elmo is going to measure green eggs and ham. And now I've done the inches. And Elmo's going to measure cat in the hat. And now Elmo's going to write down the inches. And Elmo's going to measure Harry Potter. And write down the inches. And now Elmo's going to measure where the wild things are. Elmo likes that book. It's about monsters. And now I write down the inches. And finally, Elmo's going to measure the Grinch that stole Christmas. And now I write down the inches. Now, this is called data. And I'm going to take my data and make a line plot. So now I go to number two. Write a title for the line plot. Then write the numbers and draw the X's. Well, the title will be Elmo's Books. You can.
can make it your own title. You could write Eli's books, or Skyla's books, or Vivian's books. Hi, Vivian. Okay, now we need to write down the numbers that match our data. The smallest number will start our line plot, and the largest number will end our line plot. Now for this part, Mr. Oppenheim is going to make our line plot. Take it away, Baldy! <laughs> With that move. Let's first title our line plot. Now Elmo said that he was going to title it Elmo's Books, but that's not quite accurate as to what the line plot depicts. It actually depicts the height of the books. So we're going to title it Height of Books. So we could say that Elmo was wrong. Hey, what do you mean I was wrong, Baldy? We'll ignore that. So let's write Height of Books as the title. Now, for the numbers of the line plots that we'll fill in the blanks with, we'll start with the lowest and the highest. So the lowest number that we had was six inches in height. So we're gonna start our line plot at six inches. And then our highest one was 12. So we'll put that at the end. And then we could fill these in with the other numbers. Well, we had 11 and we had a 10. And then we could fill in the other one with any number we like between six and 10. Let's put eight, eight's my lucky number. Let's start at the top. Our first book was 10 inches, so we'll put an X there. Our second book was 10 inches. We'll put an X there, above the 10 inch. Then we had a book that was six inches tall, so an X above the six. We had another book that was 11 inches tall. And our last book was 12 inches tall, so we'll put an X above the 12. And now we've completed our line plot for the height of books. Hi all, Kermit the Frog here, and I'm going to be teaching you this math lesson. Hey Frog, get out of here! This is my lesson! You're always trying to take over! Mm. That frog is always trying to steal my thunder! Okay boys and girls, for this lesson, you are going to make a line plot of your own. First you're going to need five pencils, to complete numbers three and four. And then you need five grants to complete number five. So go ahead, get those materials, press pause, and complete the line graph. When you come back and press play, Mr. Oppenheim will explain how you got your answers. Bye. Get back here, frog! I got a word to say to you! Mm. All right, boys and girls, let's continue and check our answers for numbers three and four. Hopefully at your house you found five pencils, all of different lengths. Here I have five pencils pictured, all of different lengths. And now let's go ahead and collect our data and measure them. My first pencil is about five inches long, so I'll put five. My second pencil is about three inches long, so I'll record three inches. My next pencil, four inches long. And I got this little baby pencil. It's a two inches long. And finally, my last pencil, again, four inches long. All right, now that I have my data recorded, let's go ahead and make the line plot. So first we'll give our line plot a title, which is, we'll call it lengths of pencils. And now let's go ahead and create the line plot. Well, the smallest number we have is two inches. Nothing smaller than that, so we'll start our line plot with two. And I think for this, we can just go ahead and go down the row there. Two, three, four, five, and we'll fill in the last one with six. 
Now let's go ahead and complete our line plot. All right, our first pencil was five inches long. We'll put an X over five. Then we had one that was three inches long, an X over three. Our third pencil was four inches long, an X over four. Fourth pencil, two inches long, X over two. And our last pencil was four inches long, so a second X over the four. And we've completed numbers three and four. Now let's go on to number five. There again, they want us to use an inch ruler and measure and record the lengths of four crayons, not five, as we previously said, in inches. Number five, use an inch ruler, measure and record the lengths of four crayons, not five as we said before, record the lengths of four crayons in inches and complete the line plot. So hopefully you have four crayons at home, all of different lengths. Hopefully they're not all brand new or you're just gonna have four X's above one number. All right, let's go ahead and first collect our data. Our first crayon is about a little taller than four. We'll say it's about four inches. All right, our next crayon, three inches. The next crayon is about six inches. And finally, our last crayon, again, three inches. All right, let's record a title for our line plot. We'll call it lengths of crayons. And now let's record our numbers on our line plot. Our numbers are three, four, and six. So we could start with three, four, five, all the way to six. It's important to make sure we have the numbers that we actually collected on our line plot. And now let's record our X's. Okay, we've got a four inch crayon, a three inch crayon, a six inch crayon, and a three inch crayon. So hopefully the line plots and the data that you collected look similar to what I have. It doesn't have to be exact. What is important is just make sure that the data you collected on your chart matches up with the line plot. Okay, boys and girls, for page 592, let's complete problem six and seven. Problem six says, use the data in the list to complete the line plot. So here in the green square, we have the lengths of four ribbons and we are going to plot them on the line plot. So first, let's give it a title. The title of our line plot is Lengths of Ribbons. Now we need to put the numbers on our line plots. Now looking at the chart, our lowest number is five and our highest number is seven. So we'll start with five, six, and end with seven. That way we have a place for every X we'll put on our line plot. And now let's plot our X's. We have a six inch ribbon, so we'll put an X over the six. A five inch ribbon, we'll put an X over the five. A seven inch ribbon, we'll put an X over the seven. And finally, another six inch ribbon, so we'll put another X over the six. Now let's go to number seven. Sarah made a line plot to show the data about the length of leaves. Is Sarah's line plot correct? Tell why or why not. Well, looking at the chart titled the length of leaves, we have a four inch leaf, a five inch leaf, three, four, six, four, and five. Let's take a look at her line plot. Is it correct and does it match the chart? Well, let's see, how many four inch leaves do we have? One, two, and three. But looking at the line plot, she's only got two X's above the four and there should be three. So her line plot is not correct. So we can write, no, 
our line plot is not correct. And let's tell the reason. Because she needs three x's over the four, and she only has two. Okay, boys and girls, well, that does it for today's math lesson. Uh, hey, Elmo. Can I say goodbye to the children? Sure. This is Timothy Frog saying goodbye for now. And this is Elmo saying bye-bye.